Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, then welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen, and today we are going to continue our Westworld journey with season one, episode two. I have really, really enjoyed watching the first episode of this show. I think the premise is really cool, and I'm really interested in these characters, so let's just continue and see where episode two takes us. <clears throat> Who's this guy? We're about to arrive. May I take your glass? Where we're going, she's a two. You're being an asshole. No. I'm being myself, which was the whole point of this trip. He's from Punisher. Unless this uptight prick is who you really are, in which case, feel free to be someone else. Do you have any pre existing medical conditions? Okay, so this is the actual no, facility. No. Oh, problems? No. Any history of mental illness, depression, panic attacks? Just a little fear of clowns. Same. Joke. Sure. Oh, I was being serious. Do you experience social anxiety? There's a doggo. Uh, uh, Kill down somewhere else. I don't want anyone thinking that you're representative of the goods inside. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Come on. He's violent delights. How violent? How violent ends. What question? Who you really are. And I can't fucking wait to meet that guy. I'm curious too because he kind of seems like he might be a good guy, but we gonna find out. In my dreams, I was free. I could be as good or as, or as bad as I felt like being. And if I wanted something, I could just reach out and take it. But then I would wake up and the voice would start all over again. Do you know what it said? Is she remembering? I'm sorry, who are you? Please excuse me. Hi, fucker. What's the problem? I guess wouldn't. Sizemore is launching some huge new storyline and he wants us to clear out the debris. If we don't get our numbers back up, she'll be decommissioned. She's pretty, like, I don't. We practice witchcraft. Basically. We speak the right words. And something comes to life. And we create life itself. I feel like she's looking at me. Okay. <laughs> Bring yourself back online. Hello. Do you remember our last conversation, Dolores? Yes, of course. And you haven't told anyone about our little talks? You told me not to. Step into analysis, please. I think it would be best if you not mention the things we've been talking. Have I done something wrong? No. But there's something different about you. About the way you think. I find it fascinating, but others may not see it that way. Bernard, what you been doing? Have you done something wrong? I think so. Well, you can get fucked right back to sleep by one of these assholes with their miniature peckers. <laughs> miniature? I like Maeve. Work. I don't want her to get decommissioned. Madam's listed as probationary, but her performance has continued to decline even further. <gasps> no! We just Clementine for now. She's done a job before. See if anyone wants one last turn. Uh, we recall her in the morning. <gasps> decommission her. No! Shame. There is a treasure. I have. I feel like this guy's gonna show him. A map. <laughs> I see. Ah. I'm worried he's gonna like shoot his daughter. You get to decide what we're gonna do with him. And his wife. I'm sure that nothing to do with you telling this dipshit's cousins to bring some more men. He's gonna shoot that guy. 
The gentleman gets whatever he wants. Why? Do they have something going on? They do. Weird. Can you imagine how fucked we'd be if these poor assholes ever remember what the guests do to them? That's kind of what's they happening, hun. Give them the concept of dreams. Put in a request for a full physical at her next rotation. She's gonna put her back in rotation. All right, gorgeous. You're back to the races. Yay! You're gonna leave in three, two, one. Is there anything wrong with the seven deadly sins? There's a lot more of them. There's a lot of indiscretion. Spoken and otherwise. Like a kid? <gasps> oh no. Shoot him. Oh, this fuck. Doesn't help to shoot him. I've seen you just block that shit on and rinse. You, you mentioned soap is mechanical. Fuck are you talking about? Bubbles. You're making the little bubbles. You're not doing shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck. What the oh, fuck? Shit. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. No. Oh, fuck. Asshole. You forgot to put it in sleep mode. She's up. Wake. She's like loose in the freaking facility. Oh, she's definitely fucking gonna remember that. Is it Bernard? A gun? Is it a real gun that can hurt newcomers? I hope Ford hates it. Yes! Sorry? No, I don't think so. We, you don't think What is the point of it? Got a couple of cheap throws, some surprises, but it's not enough. They're not looking for a story that tells them who they are. They already know who they are. They here because they want a glimpse of who they could be. Who they could be. Yeah. Billy. I think he's a good guy. I hope. The only thing your story tells me is who you are. Mr. Sizemore. Is who you are. The board, sir. Yeah. It's like ruffles and feathers. You promised them a new storyline. They should have one. Something I've been working on for some time. Something quite original. What? 
I thought that was another really good episode of Westworld. I learned a little bit more and I got a lot more questions and I feel like I'm more confused than ever. The first thing I want to talk about because it's the thing most prevalent on my mind after that episode is what the hell is Bernard doing with Dolores? Is he the one who showed her where the gun is buried towards the end? Also, is that a real gun like from our world that could hurt the newcomers in the park? Yeah, just what the hell is Bernard doing with Dolores? He's having these conversations with her. He said she th thinks different than the other hosts and he's intrigued by that. I just, I wonder if his conversations with her could have something to do with the fact that she's glitching. I know that in the last episode, they said that Dolores was the oldest host currently in the park. So there's something like special about her maybe, but it's just, I don't know. It's really interesting to me that Bernard is talking to her and I want to know why. And I want to even try to guess why, but I genuinely have no idea. What's Bernard trying to do? Is he trying to make them glitch? Is he trying to make them more human? Is he, is he trying to overthrow management? Is he trying to build an android army? Like, I, I genuinely don't know. Does he feel bad like I think Ford maybe feels? Although after this episode, I don't know about Ford either. It's just, it's very interesting and I feel like Bernard and Ford might be up to something, but I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> On the subject of Bernard and Ford possibly being up to something, after the last episode I thought that the man in black was just kind of crazy and he thought there was this deeper level to the game that there wasn't, but there is a maze and there is a deeper level to the game. but they said it's not for him and yet they said that he could do whatever he wanted that he didn't have to follow a storyline or or be punished for doing whatever he's doing why can he do whatever he wants who is he is he part of the management is he part of the board he said he's been coming here for 30 years And he doesn't want to leave this time, or he doesn't plan to leave this time. But why? Okay, so it kind of seems like these episodes might be character-centric because the last episode was focused mainly on Dolores, and this episode seemed to be fake focused mainly on Maeve and this new William character. But to talk about Maeve, I really, really like Maeve, and I, as you could see probably, I was getting upset at the idea of her being decommissioned. I'm glad that the kind of creepy lady decided to basically be like, fuck what these people want and not decommission her. I could be way off base, but I do wonder if the phrase, these violent delights have violent ends, is some sort of trigger phrase because it's what Abernathy told Dolores in the last episode. And then she kind of started glitching maybe a little bit and remembering stuff. And now it's what Dolores told Maeve. And after that, she started glitching and remembering stuff. So could be way off, but I'm just, I'm just trying to like piece together stuff. So I'm going to remember that just in case <laughs> it's important at all. It's cool to learn more about the characters like Maeve having a daughter in a previous storyline and obviously having a run-in with the man in black because I'm sure all of them have at some point. He's been around for 30 years. He's an asshole who likes hurting women, it appears, and just anyone really. So I really like Maeve and I, 
I wonder if her daughter is still out there somewhere and they could be reunited maybe if and when she remembers. Also, if you hear a squeaking noise, my cat is playing with a squeaky toy. <laughs> so, so I'm sorry about that. We met a new character in this episode and his name is William and he is a newcomer to the park and his friend is, I don't think we ever learned his name, but he's Ben Banks. I'm pretty sure is the actor's name and he's from Punisher and I think he was Prince Caspian and Chronicles of Narnia, maybe? Uh, but I mostly recognize him from Punisher now. His character is somewhat similar to his character in Punisher, TBH, so. Uh, his friend is an asshole, like most people who seem to play this game, and he seems like he might be a good person. They seem to want to pursue maybe some kind of relationship with him and um, Dolores, but he also has someone waiting at home in the real world, which, yeah. I didn't really super hate him in the last episode, but in this episode, Sizemore was like a huge, huge dick. And I don't like him. At all, I don't know. I was really happy when Ford was like, yeah, this idea is horrible. Like, the story tells me who you are, but it doesn't tell me who the guests are. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I liked it because I, I don't know. I don't like Sizemore. I feel like he's, I don't know. I just don't like him. He's not a good person based on the stories he creates alone. To go back to Maeve, I know I've jumped around with Maeve like 18 times in this post-episode discussion, but to go back to Maeve, when she woke up, you know, she was having the nightmare remembering the man in black and she did her one, two, three, or three, two, one thing and woke up. And then she was in the real world, right? And she was, she saw everything and she saw them hosing people down. She saw Teddy, she saw all this shit, like, and she's glitching, right? I'm just calling it glitching. I don't know what it's, what it's supposed to properly called, but she's, definitely gonna remember that, right? <sighs> I'm really interested to see where that goes. I hope her, I want her and Dolores to like get together and remember shit, but I also am aware that they're watching them and if they sort of deviate at all, it seems like they can see. So I don't know how they would get together, but I also don't know how nobody saw Dolores go and dig up the gun or how nobody didn't see Dolores, how anybody didn't see Dolores. <sighs> English. I, I forgot how to use it, I guess. I don't know how anybody didn't see Dolores go and get the gun if they're being monitored, right? So unless it's because Bernard is the one helping her because they also haven't seen Bernard talking to her. So I just, I don't know. I'm also curious as to what Ford's idea is. He said he has an idea for a new storyline and he had Bernard, who he called Mr. Lowe. I don't know why, unless that's Bernard's last name. Maybe that was a really stupid question. <laughs> it's probably just his last name. I don't know why I'm overanalyzing this. I feel like this show is making me overanalyze things that don't need to be overanalyzed. Anyway, um, at the end, like, I'm really curious as to what Ford's new storyline is. Cause I kind of thought that he was regretting his part in all this. And so he maybe wouldn't want new storylines, but unless him and Bernard are in whatever this is together and they're both trying to, I don't even know, liberate the people who are in the park because they, understand that they're becoming sentient and that they shouldn't be treated like toys anymore. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to add to that. I don't think I have anything else to add to this episode. It was really good. <laughs> I feel like I'm more confused. Bernard and Cullen are apparently having sex. I'm trying to think if I remembered any, if I forgot to say anything else. 
I don't know, but I am more intrigued and also more confused and I have no idea what is going to happen next. So yeah, I'm just going to watch it and probably be more confused again. I don't know, but thanks for watching. If you stuck around this far, thanks for listening to me ramble. Like, sorry y'all, I ramble a lot, but I think that's it. So until next time, bye guys.